What's up everybody? This is Tim from Arm Wrestling Secrets and in this video I wanted to talk about why arm wrestling will always be a tiny sport and why I love it. All right, everybody, welcome to the show, and let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to be talking today about uh, why I think arm wrestling will always be a tiny sport, but at the same time, we're going to be talking about why I love the fact that it's always going to be a tiny sport. If you are a competitive arm wrestler, I'm going to tell you something right now. You're extremely rare. Okay, that's one of the things I really love about being a professional arm wrestler. Being able to arm wrestle, do you know how rare you are? If you go compete, if you're actually listening to this video and you compete, you're extremely rare. If you, if you travel around to competitions and you actually compete in arm wrestling, you are extraordinarily rare. And that's what I wanted to say. And this is where this whole video is going in terms of why arm wrestling will always be a tiny sport. Let me ask you one question. How many arm wrestlers are in your town? Okay, let's, let's look at my example, okay? Now, I, this is something I'm just going to tell you guys very interesting, and this is going to make a really interesting point, okay? And I think it's, it, it, you're going to find you're going to have a lot in common with what I'm, the same thing I'm seeing right now too, okay? Now, I have a video sign outside my office, and that's where I market some of my personal training services and things like that. For an entire month, I had an arm wrestling training club. Like, I was, I was marketing and advertising for an arm wrestling training club for Friday and Saturday nights, 6 to 8 p.m., okay? And people would drive up and down the road all day and all night long. They'd see the sign. How many phone calls do you think I got in one month of leaving that sign going 24 hours a day? Zero. I got zero interest. I live in Logan, Utah. There's about 55,000 people here. 55,000 people. I am the only one, as far as I know, I'm the only competitive arm wrestler in this town. Now, there are, there, are, there are people that are in the next town over and the next town over, but I'm talking about this town, the town that I'm in, and I'm asking you guys the same thing. What's the size of your town and how many arm wrestlers are there in it? Okay, I'm quite positive it's the same thing I've seen my entire life. I've traveled all around and arm wrestled. It's the same thing everywhere you go. And as you know, I do arm wrestling coaching. So I'm fielding phone calls and taking video coaching sessions with people all the time. So I get to hear this from people all over the country, all over the world, in fact, but primarily, let's say all over the country, people from Arizona, people from New Hampshire, people from Florida, people from Texas, they all have the same thing in common. Do you know what that is? There's no one in their town that arm wrestlers, that arm wrestles. There's nobody around to arm wrestle with, okay? If you, and for you guys who, who compete, you're gonna be nodding your head. You already know this, okay? For you guys who are going around competing, what do you see when you go to the competitions? Do you see all new people every time you go to a big competition? Or do you see the same people that travel around, right? like the Utah State Championship, the Arizona State Championship, the New Mexico, the Nevada, you're gonna see the same, the same 25 or 30 main people along with some other people at those same tournaments. Okay, and I'm not saying anything bad, I'm saying that's a fact. And so let's do, let's do a little math on that, or at least just, just what I was thinking was, um, if there's, let's say 55,000 people and I'm the only arm wrestler, and I, I've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people and they all have the same situation, okay? If, you, if you're that one guy who lives in the small town and there's 100 arm wrestlers in there, I would be very shocked by that. And I'm talking about competitive arm wrestlers. I'm not talking, for you guys, all due respect, for you guys that arm wrestle, but you do it in the garage or the backyard or the basement. I'm talking about going to a real competition, a sanctioned event, a competition where you go and you compete against other competitive arm wrestlers. That's what I think is really rare. 
Okay, so let me get to the next point, which is what, what I was going to say, which is why the sport of arm wrestling will always be tiny, always. Think about it. Nobody arm wrestles. It's not because it's not fun. People who are watching this, obviously, for the most part, you like arm wrestling, but how much, how much, how much, how much does other people around your town like it? They don't like it enough to do it, do they? Right? You know how complicated the sport is. For you guys that are, that, that are competitive arm wrestlers, this is a big nod of respect to you, okay? Because you're like me, you're extremely rare, okay? We are rare people, but that's not going to change. No matter how much, no matter how much we highlight arm wrestling, this is my opinion, okay? Now, some of the other countries, some of the countries in Europe and things like that, they're starting big training clubs and they're doing these other big things, okay? But there are some of those other countries at the same time, they're not surrounded by all the other sports that America has to offer. Soccer, volleyball, baseball, basketball, all the other distractions that are pulling people away who might potentially arm wrestle, okay? But in this country, in this country, I've seen this my entire life. The sport, let's just be completely honest, okay? There's, the sport, I love arm wrestling, but it is not going to be popular from a competitive standpoint. It won't be, and I'm not making an argument, I'm, I'm stating a fact. It won't be because of, because of what you already know. It is brutal, okay? It's a brutal sport. It's really hard on your body, and all of you guys who are have an elbow pain all the time, remember how you felt after your first training club? Or maybe after your first tournament? Do you remember how sore you were? Do you remember the pain you went through? And how much, and I, for, for those who don't know better, how much money do you think professional arm wrestlers really get? None, nothing, okay? There, if, you go to, if you go and compete, if you go and compete it, on, on YouTube and you're in one of those big events in, in Europe or something like that, it's not even gonna pay you enough money to pay for, your, to pay for the flight and the hotel and your food. You'll still be paying just to go, okay? So obviously there's no money in the sport, okay? So you're putting yourself through all the pain and all the struggle for what you know is not gonna be any financial reward, okay? And so most people just aren't going to gravitate to it. It's too hard, it's too complicated, it's too embarrassing for strong guys too. Guys who are really strong, they don't really like getting in the sport. I see a lot of strong guys watching the sport, okay? And I'm not really talking about from a spectator point of view, but I do want to touch on that since we're talking about it in this video. I don't think arm wrestling is a good spectator sport. And I'm not bashing it. You guys know I love arm wrestling. I, I've said that 10 times, but I'm just saying from a spectator point of view, people, people who don't arm wrestle, that's what I'm talking about. Like when people watch an NBA basketball game, how many of those people do you think play high level basketball? They're sitting there watching the game, being entertained, okay, but they don't play, okay? As far as arm wrestling goes, it's, it's, it's quite a bit the same thing, but, but, but way more, okay? Is that most of the people, if you go to a tournament, most of the people that are watching, at a tournament, what, what do the attendants look like, right? Are they people who are coming off the street because they had to see the arm wrestling tournament? Or is it the family and friends and other arm wrestlers that are at the tournament. Those are the people that are the spectators at the tournament, okay? Now, obviously, there's a few hundred thousand people, obviously, watching arm wrestling, and it's, it's more fun to watch even on YouTube because it's, a lot of it's more edited and you get to just see the matches, but when you just go to a tournament, from a spectator point of view, when you just go to a tournament, I think it's boring for a lot of people because the strap and the setup and all the time and stuff that goes into it, it's interesting for arm wrestlers to watch because we know what's going on. People who don't understand arm wrestling are watching the strap get put on and watching the slipping and then the match takes two seconds and it's over. And I don't think from a spectator point of view, I don't think it's going to get much more popular, but that's like I said, that's not bashing the sport. That's just the way I see it. Um, or else I think it would be more popular from a spectator point of view. But coming back to why I really think the sport will always be tiny, it's what I already said. Nobody arm wrestles. That's in your town, that's in my town, that's in every town and all across the country. And so what I wanted to put out was, um, like I said, I was gonna do some math real fast. It wasn't really doing math, but let's say there's 55,000 people in my town and I'm the only one. There's about 
360 million or something Americans, okay? That would, if you do the math on that, if there's one per 55,000, which I'm not saying that's correct, I'm just saying let's just go with that, that would be like between six and 7,000 competitive arm wrestlers in the whole country. I think that's right. I think there's less than 10,000 arm wrestlers in the country, competitive arm wrestlers. I'm, like I said, I'm not talking about all the people who have a table or who arm wrestler with their buddies across the dining room table or who arm wrestler in the backyard after church or whatever. And no offense, I'm saying competitive arm wrestlers are extremely rare. And I think the number is between, definitely, definitely between six and 10,000, I think at the most, at the very most, there might be 10,000 arm wrestlers in the country. I doubt it, okay? But without going on and on, guys, I want to hear what you think, okay? If you could, in the comments section below, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell me, you don't even need to tell me the name of your town just or city. Tell me how many people are in your city or your town and tell me how many competitive arm wrestlers that you know of that live in that vicinity. And just put that in the comments section. We can, we, I want to see if everyone can kind of put something in and we can really get a compilation of how many arm wrestlers are really out there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. If you want to light speed your arm wrestling knowledge, supercharge your training, and start winning more matches, click on the link in the description, go to my arm wrestling coaching page, and book a session with me right now.